ahead of the Delhi Disaster Management Authority meeting that is set to take place uh, in Delhi tomorrow uh, on the new COVID measures that may or may not come and how to assess the entire COVID situation in the city. Uh, the Delhi government ahead of that meeting has sought data from all the schools in Delhi uh, in terms of how many active cases they have, how many students or teachers uh, have tested positive for COVID. Uh, this all coming in the backdrop of how Noida has also been seeing a rise in cases uh, in schools. I have with me uh, the principal of ITL Public School, uh, Ms. Acharya, to speak to us for more on the issue. And she's also the chairperson of the National Progressive Schools Conference. Uh, Ma'am, my first question to you is, uh, what exactly is the form that has been sent to you? What are the exact details that the government is seeking? Yeah, Delhi government has sent a Google form uh, asking the total strength of the school and total number of children and teachers, those who have affected by COVID and the active cases also and how many parents have reported. So I think it's a welcoming step uh, because Delhi government uh, now can find out uh, that how many children are actually affected. Before the DDA uh, meeting, they can submit the data and accordingly decision can be made. So we welcome the decision. Uh, Ma'am, in terms of your own school, what is the situation currently in terms of COVID number of cases uh, among students and staff? Yeah, if I tell you, today only uh, one teacher is reported to be positive and one uh, child. Two children were uh, there during the holidays that's because the school was closed for four uh, days. In between, two, teacher, two children reported to be positive. Now they got over, but we have told them to take rest for one week. So we have got complete COVID uh, protocol or uh, the SOP in place in school, staggered entry, exit and uh, classrooms, buses are getting sanitized thrice or four times daily. And we have a quarantine zone in uh, school itself. If you find some child having some symptoms, uh, we segregate the child, uh, bring his, uh, him or her to the medical room and uh, call the parents and hand over. And then we immediately sanitize the classroom, right. uh, shifting the children to another facility. Right. Ma'am, in terms of the situation in Noida, uh, they've seen a rise in cases. Some of the schools even temporarily shut down and then went back to the online mode. So in light of all of that, how the situation is developing there and schools temporarily shut down, um, what are the kind of expectations you have from the Delhi government now in terms of any measures uh, that they may announce tomorrow in terms of schools? Delhi government has already given us one guideline that if you find, suppose, in uh, primary wing, two children are uh, affected, so we can close down that floor or that particular wing. But uh, closing down the whole school is, uh, at present, is not a solution. So we can think of uh, other solution because in my school, suppose class four child is getting affected and that is one floor or primary wing is completely separate. So I may close the primary wing or that floor instead of closing the whole school. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for speaking to us. Uh, so that is Ms. Sudha Acharya telling us uh, that uh, as far as schools are concerned, their expectations remain that they will be able to maintain the healthy balance between uh, education and also ensuring that children remain healthy and uh, the government will take all of this uh, into consideration considering they've already sought uh, what is the data in terms of how many cases schools are seeing right now. So considering the government has already brought them in the loop, they are hopeful that uh, whatever decision the government takes uh, will be in their favor as well. In New Delhi with camera person Xavier Thomas, this is Sukirti Devedi for NDTV.